Hello friends, I hope you're having a good day. It's Tuesday, our first day back in the market, and once you know it, it's been a terrible day in the market for the majority of stocks. Ah, what are you gonna do? But more than likely, people clicking on this video right now, they're probably pretty PO'd at the company that I am talking about, and they're wanting answers. Let me be the first to tell you, I'm just a regular Joe that doesn't have too many questions, but gathering up all the evidence that we're seeing with this stock right now and looking at everyone's chat logs, what they're saying about this company is that one, they're pretty PO'd. People are wondering why the company is not really talking. The company had a reverse split back in the summer of last year, hoping that would have fixed their problem. But things have continued to dwindle here for this company. And obviously NASDAQ is gonna come a calling here pretty soon. Because this stock obviously is below a dollar and below 10 cents. When a stock is below a dollar, it's an issue. But they have time. When it's below 10 cents, it's a real big issue. So friends, before I say anything else, listen, I, I'm a friend. I, I'm not trying to make a video dogging anybody down here. I'm really not. But here's what I do want to say about uh, the situation that we're seeing here. So we're looking at a stock that has continued to fall apart and fall apart. It still has massive, aggressive volume right now. But of course it's going to because it is so cheap right now. I mean, if you spend $20 on this stock, you're getting a lot of shares. If you spend 100, you're getting a lot. If you spend $500 on this share and you're just you know, trading it back and forth, you're still getting a lot. Now, when we look at the highs and lows and middles of this stock right here, last week did not provide a lot of wiggle room i mean you were having to buy a pretty significant amount of shares and you know and i say this because this is the majority of what investors are doing right now they're buying a lump sum they're holding it for about an hour and then they're selling it at a fraction of the price higher and they're taking what they can so obviously this is a big short trading stock right now the future for the situation of this stock and this company I mean, I'm not going to go over the whole logistics and history of what's going on here, but it's had a pretty rocky history and the company is not really saying a lot right now. I mean, like when you're trying to track down information, I mean, they're like going cold about a lot of stuff. It's so much so that investors Zerber has more information than a lot of stuff you can find and completely warning people to do not go into this stock. But personally with this stock right now, um, this is quite the show we're watching right now because, you know, with so much volume going on with this, and honestly, if we were to see this um, have a chance of moving up, it's obviously going to need a lot more volume. When we're looking at a stock that has, you know, it, it last week it had around, you know, 90 million in volume, uh, you know, we'll say 80, uh, 75 was the norm in volume you know, 75, 80 million. The week before that was quite aggressive and there was more of a chance to make money in that week going from a six cents to a seven cents, but still very small portions. But yet, like I said, you're looking at people that are, you know, buying massive amounts of shares for on the cheap, but they're taking and getting what they can. So two things with this, obviously, if you are putting money into this, you feel pretty comf confident that you can swing trade this and, you know, good for you. Go for it, man. Uh, you know, whoever. I love when people win on the stock market. I really do. Now, obviously, last week, it has really it, it dwindled quite a bit. Um, it, it, people, I, I, I can already tell, um, have gotten stuck as of last week. Um, this week has become even worse. So, friends, like I said, I have, I have literally seen stocks that are under a 10 cent mark that have no communication about what's going on been completely removed from NASDAQ without any warning whatsoever. So here's what I just want to say for anybody that's like new to trading and they're like, oh my God, you know, five cents, I can buy like a thousand shares for nothing. Do not be surprised to see this disappear overnight. Um, like I said, NASDAQ does not play around with stocks that are um, being used and abused under a 10 cent mark. And the company obviously is not saying a whole lot. 
but things have come out to where they are in trouble, they owe a lot of money, and it's a bad situation. And even looking at people's chat logs with this stock right now, how people are like um, trying to understand what's going on, a lot of people it sounds like are saying they're just stuck, they're giving up, um, and they're not going to put any more money into this. And I think last week when we look at this volume ratio to stock price ratio, it's kind of you know it's kind of telling of what's happening. Um, that people are just giving up and, and which is understandable I'm like I'm not trying to be mean I'm just saying like this is this is the reality of what we're looking at right now um, the five-day forecast um, it is just completely falling apart and today was there was like no wiggle room and this thing fell apart completely so I mean even by the time somebody's watching this video this thing could be off the NASDAQ so um, Unless something dramatically changes here, which I hope it does for people's sake. Uh, if this thing even went to a 20 cent mark, um, it would make people buku's of money and get people out of the hole. So it's a very interesting situation. And honestly, here's another thing too. If you're if you're new in trading, if you're new in this, you know, short trading stocks and just penny stocks in general, this is a great example right now to watch this. Don't like don't like lead the stock in the sense of like you're just like I'm not even gonna waste my time watching this watch this see what happens here this is a really good lesson to watch how the stock is gonna flow from here on out maybe it could possibly recover a little bit majority of the situation probably not it's probably gonna continue to sink and get worse um, and who knows this could be the last week before it's wrapped up here but this is a great lesson right now to watch what's gonna happen here for when you're short trading stocks um, in the future for things that are so cheap. And the other thing with this too, March 2nd is the day when we're gonna, they have their hearing with NASDAQ to see what's gonna happen here. Um, I don't know if it's gonna make it. It probably will, it probably will make it. But um, March 2nd is when they have their meeting and we'll see what happens here because NASDAQ wants all their stocks on their market to be above a dollar. Um, and uh, obviously this stock is like nowhere even close. So friends, that's kind of the news of what we have here. Um, if you're comfortable trading this in and out, you know, and you're having success, you know, good for you. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, if you were like, I not, I'm not so sure what's going on here and I don't have money to play around with this. I would just say like, Hey, like I said, just watch the situation of what we have here. There's still a lot going on. March 2nd is that day when they're going to be talking about what they're going to be doing with their future um, more than likely I believe they can have another reverse split I don't have the rule book in front of me right here but we could see something like that potentially happen so friends I really do wish everyone the best of luck with this one I, I, I hope it works out I know there's a people a lot of people right now in hot water with this stock I hope the company starts talking right now obviously they have gone cold because they do not want to answer questions for people right now so friends all that said I will talk to you soon friends and best of luck out there bye everyone Thank you